studies in Bangalore and Chennai is need of the R as it fulfills the aspiration of the students seeking authentic Islamic knowledge in English. This is the fact that the scholars, they learn the Islamic studies in Arabic language or in their local languages. But the situation is changed. Right now, all our generation, they are studying in English. And there is a no bridge between the scholars and between this generation to teach them our, our true deen, that is the Quran, the Hadith, the Fiqh, the Seerah. We have a subject, Arabic language. So, uh, because we all know that uh, we can't understand the Quran and the traditions of the Prophet وسلم, the Hadith, without having good knowledge in Arabic language. Apart from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, there is also a vast and rich Islamic legacy. This is the legacy left behind by the greatest minds of the world. Without Arabic, we would really deprive ourselves of the fruits of the 1400 years of Islamic legacy. Studying the Arabic language for one year has not only started making it easier for me to understand the Quran and Sunnah, uh, but has also helped me to concentrate in my Salah and implement the teachings of Allah through our Prophet Wasallam in my life, Alhamdulillah. We have many extra curricular activities and competitions like uh, competitions in uh, drawing and painting and uh, chart and uh, model making, uh, calligraphy and we have Arabic club that enhance reading, writing and uh, overall communication skills in Arabic language. Our college provides a proper bachelor's and master's degrees in Islamic studies for people of all ages, for those who have finished the pre-university. It is for both men and women with a proper Islamic segregation during classes. Admissions are going on for those who want to take advantage of this golden opportunity and to be of those who are considered elite people in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, it is the need of the society. So I feel that in the future we would have, inshallah, all the facilities of, you know, that our own premises, in our own building, inshallah, and uh, masters and the PhD degree should be provided. And all this should be systematically, uh, we should take the approval from the government and we should do it. And that is, uh, we are living in a secular and in the, you know, the public government. So we can do all these facilities, inshallah.